Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at some special functions, basal functions. I will be sure to link down a link below to fully explain and give the theoretical background behind the basal functions. But for now, we are just going to look at the practical graph examples. Let us plot four individual graphs on the same plot for basal functions of the first kind, second kind, modified first kind, and modified second kind. Please don't be confused by the variables used here. We are going to use V or N in the place of alpha, X or Z to express the arrays okay let's start i'm going to work under my editor section on octave remember that a percentage sign it's used when we are making comments let's define our array we are going to say x equals to length space zero all the way to 10 with 100 points now for the first function let us plot the first kind subplot two rows two columns position one basal of the first kind with our alpha being zero we've defined our axis we've defined our array let's include the legend title our graph x label and y label also the grid on. Let's look at the second kind. Subplot, two rows, two columns, position two. Plot, basal y, include your legend, title your graph, x label and y label. Don't forget the grid on. We can observe our functions for both the first kind and the second kind. Now, let us do the very same thing, but this time for modified first kind and second kind. Basal function, modified first kind, subplot on position three. This time around, we are going to use basal i, Include your legend, tie to your graph, X label, Y label, and the grid on. Lastly, for the modified second kind, plot on the fourth position, basal K. Include your legend, tie to your graph, X label, and Y label. Don't forget the grid on. And there we go. We can carefully observe all our four graphs. Okay, now, thanks for watching. Till next time, bye.